What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how we can recover the Windows instance if the PEM file is lost. So here we are going to use the systems manager to recover the instance, right? So basically, uh, these are the list of AMI uh, which have SSM agent pre-installed, right? I am assuming that the instance has SSM agent installed, right? So probably we will start by launching a new instance and we will access it. Later we will assume that we have lost the PEM file, uh, which will be further followed by the steps to recover the same, right? So let's start with launching an instance. So navigate to EC2. Now once you are within EC2 management console, say launch instance. Now here we are going to use Microsoft Windows Server 2019 base, right? So it has the SSM agent pre-installed, right? So select this instance. I will use T2 micro, next, next, next. I will add a name tag, I will say base instance, next, we will create a new security group, we will say windows recover security group, review and launch and say launch right so here uh, i'm going to choose an existing key pair that is flask right and i will say i have that key and i will say launch instance right so now the instance is booting up so now the instance is in running straight so we will select the instance and we will click on connect so here we have two option uh, that is standalone RDB client. So we will use that. So now click on get password. So it will help us retrieving the default or the generated password, right? So it says, please wait at least four minutes after launching an instance, right? So uh, we have to wait. So now, as you can see, uh, it's asking us for flash.pem file that uh, I have selected uh, while launching an instance, right? So I have to probably copy or paste the content of that file or I can directly uh, upload a file, right? So I will say choose a file. So now uh, once we have uploaded or pasted the content of the file, we can say decrypt password. So now uh, it will give us the password. So let's try to log in, right? So it's uh, Microsoft remote desktop. So you can directly download remote desktop file and it will directly ask you for the password or you can manually um, log in into the instance by clicking on add PC. So here it's asking us for the PC name. So within that uh, we have to copy and paste the public DNS or it can be public IP of the instance, right? So paste, add, double tap and now it's asking us for the username and password so username is going to be administrator and password is the auto generated one right so paste continue continue So here we are, right? So this is our uh, remote PC or the remote instance, uh, right? Uh, that we are accessing right now. So now uh, let's consider that uh, we had lost the PEM file to access an instance and we want to recover that instance, right? So the very first step is to create an AMI image of this instance, right? So it's a good idea to stop the instance and then uh, create the image, uh, but you can also create the AMI image while the instance is running, right? So select the instance, 
click on actions image create image give it a name i will say windows backup and i will say create image right so now it will take some time to create an image right in order to access or control the instance centrally from the ssm or the systems manager we will require an iam role that is also known as the instance profile that uh, we will require and that is something we have to attach with the ec2 instance right so while the ami image is being created let's go ahead and create the iam role uh, that we will require later right so click on services navigate to iam management console once you are within iam management console click on roles say create role select ec2 as a service click on next permission so here you need to attach uh, only one policy that is amazon ssm managed instance core right so we are going to attach this policy say next tags you can add a tag say name ssm ec2 review say ec2 underscore ssm underscore role and say create role right so the role is created let's go back to ec2 management console and check if our image is created so it's available now right so let's go ahead and stop the instance uh, that is running that is our base instance right so here we had assumed that we don't have the pem file or the password to log in within this instance and we want to recover right so let's stop this since we have the ami image now yes stop now we will launch the new instance with the ami image right so click on ami from the left panel select the image click on launch now here it will ask for few configuration uh, we will go with t2 micro next configuration now here uh, we are going to attach the iam role that we have just created right so within iam role select the ec2 ssm role right that we have just created say next next give it a name i will say recover or recovery configure security groups uh, we will select the existing security group that we have created while launching the uh, initial instance right so that's windows recover sg say review and launch say launch so here you can launch the instance with the same pem file uh, but we know that we don't have that file right so maybe create a new one or choose any of the pem file that you have so i have this windows.pem for example so i'm selecting that then i acknowledge say launch instance so now it will take some time to be in running state try to say get password so it will display the same message uh, it, it will say that after four minutes uh, you will be able to retrieve uh, but even after waiting for two hours or more than two hours it's not going to give us the option to retrieve or decrypt the password right it's because if you read further uh, within note it says password are generated during the launch of amazon windows ami or custom ami that have been configured to enable this feature right and then it says instances launched from the custom AMI without this feature enabled use the username and password of the AMI's parent instance, right? So in this case, uh, if we know the password of the previous instance, uh, then we will be able to log in, right? But assuming that we don't know the password and uh, we even don't have that PEM file to access our uh, parent instance, right? 
in the meantime uh, what we will do is we will navigate to uh, systems manager now within systems manager uh, scroll down to session manager on the left panel now here it says there is no active session and all that now if you click on start session so once we add the instance profile or once we add the IAM role, uh, it will start uh, reflecting or the instance will start reflecting over here, right? Under uh, status session uh, from which we can select the instance. Even it will start reflecting within managed instance, right? So let's wait. Now here, uh, as you can see, uh, we have our instance over here, right? So it says uh, instance ID that is uh, DC7E. If we look over here, it says DC7E, right? So basically, uh, the IAM role or the instance profile that we have attached while launching an instance plays an important role. So if we had not given those permission, then uh, we will not be able to see the instance over here. So probably uh, we can select the instance and uh, start the session or as you can see here, we have the option to reset the password also, right? Uh, but uh, if we directly start the session uh, by selecting the instance, it will throw an error saying the key will be required to encrypt the connection, right? So to have that, click on session manager from the left panel. So here we have this session manager. Once you are there, click on preferences, right? So here you, you have to configure the KMS uh, encryption, right? So click on add it, check a uh, key management service, right? So it gives us two options that is saying, uh, select a KMS key in the current account, or you can paste the ARN of the KMS key that you want. You can select either, right? So assuming that we don't have the KMS key right now, so it gives us the option to create a new key. So now here uh, you can select asymmetric or symmetric. Uh, it's your choice, right? So I will go with symmetric, say next, give the key name. So I will say Windows recovery, right? You can give a tag and then say next. So here it's asking us the key administrator. So who should be or who will be able to access the uh, key, right? So I'm not going to select anything. Say next. Now here it says select the IAM users and roles that can use the CMK. So CMK stands for customer master key in cryptographic operations, right? So here uh, we are going to select the role that we have created, right? So that's EC2. So this role should have the permission. So it's EC2 SSM role. Select that, say next and say finish. Right, so now we have the uh, this key ready. So we can go back to systems manager and from the list, Maybe we need to reload this. So again, edit key management service. Select the key that is alias windows recovery and say save. Now once the uh, key preferences or the session manager preferences is updated, you can go to session or you can even go to a uh, manage instance and select the instance and start a session, right? So while you start the session from managed instance, uh, the session will reflect over here too, right? So let's uh, start from here. So click on start session and then uh, it will ask us to select the instance. So there can be multiple instance based on the IAM role or the permission uh, or the instance profile we had attached with the individual uh, instance, right? And say start a session. So now here it will give us the access to the uh, PowerShell or the CMD of the Windows instance, right? So let's have a look. 
So it says the session is encrypted using AWS KMS, right? And we have the access to the system, right? Uh, so we have this LS. So I just uh, put an LS and it's listing out all the files. Uh, maybe I will terminate the session uh, because I don't want to use it. Terminate. So now what we want to do is we want to recover the instance, right? We want to recover the administrator password. So go to managed instance. Select the instance, click on actions, say reset password. It will ask us for the username. So it's administrator. So let's copy and paste from here. So again, if I click on get password, it's not going to uh, show me anything, right? So try again. And now if I select session manager, it will not give me an error, right? It will give me the option to connect. So we will go on with uh, standalone RDP client. I'm going to copy this username and I want to reset the password for this user that is administrator, say submit. So as you can see, the session is being encrypted with the uh, key that we generated, right? So now it's asking for a type uh, password for the user. Uh, I will type in enter. So it says the command completed successfully and say done. Right. Uh, so now go back to EC2 management console. Uh, I will open this. Microsoft remote desktop. I will add a new PC over here. Add PC. Within PC name, uh, I will copy this DNS or it's or it can be public IP. Copy, paste, add, double click. Now it's asking for the username. So it's administrator and now the password will be the new password that we had just set right so continue continue So now as you can see, uh, we are within the instance and we had recovered the instance successfully, right? So uh, one thing I want you to uh, keep in mind, uh, so let me close this. So uh, while we launched the instance from the AMI, uh, sometimes it might happen that uh, you will not be able to see the instance within systems manager, right? So sometimes it just takes time to uh, list the instance or to reflect the instance over here, right? I'm not sure why, whether it's a bug or what, right? Uh, but sometimes it just takes time. It has happened with me, right? So in case uh, if you are not seeing your instance over here, uh, though you had followed the steps uh, till now, uh, just try to uh, relaunch the instance from the AMI and make sure you have attached the correct instance profile or the IAM role, right? So if it will not have correct permission, then it's not going to uh, reflect over here, right? So make sure about the IAM role, right? So that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial, right? So till that time, if you want me to do a tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.